you mentioned water, and you have a book called The Healing Power of Water. Mm -hmm. Is that still something that's overlooked by most people? Most, I think a lot of people think, well, I get it in my coffee, I get it in my soda, and, and uh, this and that. I mean, right. how important is it, and how overlooked is that? Well, it, you know, what's so interesting is water in coffee is not water, it's coffee. <laughs> yeah. And coffee's a diuretic, meaning it mm -hmm. pulls water out of us. Mm -hmm. And so, well, I mean, water is an amazing conversation. You know, the same percentage of water that's on the planet is the same percentage of water that's in our yeah. body. You know, mm -hmm. and the same water that was around during the time of the dinosaurs is still around yeah. right now. It refilters and recycles. Our water refilters and recycles. And so, you know, different aspects as quantity, quality, and frequency of water, it's so important. You know, two things that I find right off the bat when people come in to see me as a holistic physician mm -hmm. is they're dehydrated and their blood sugar is whacked out. And if they can balance their blood sugar and get themselves hydrated, they'll make a huge change. Now, there's a lot of controversy as far as like, oh, what's the right kind of water? Can't I just drink tap water? How about bottled water, different things like that? You know, um, in my experience, I have found that tap water is, it's poisonous. It's got chemicals that, thank God, we actually have municipalities that, rather than like in Bangladesh, where potentially, you know, you've got all kinds of different microbes in, yeah. you know, it's like, at least we can take care of that. However, you know, the, municip the municipalities don't have the filtration to actually filter out uh, all the medications mm -hmm. that people are on in the world. And so that goes into our tap water. We shower in it. We drink in it. People are getting uh, chemotherapies and radiation and antipsychotics and birth control pills for everybody. They, they find it all over the place. So, yeah. you know, I, I find it's very important to drink uh, a good filtered water. Then when you think about, well, how about RO, reverse osmosis? Mm -hmm. That's got to be a great water. It's the cleanest water you'll ever drink. It's dead, though. It's dead mm -hmm. water. There's nothing in it. And okay. water naturally is, has minerals in it. Sure. And water naturally takes the energy of a mountain, and it takes on that magnetic energy, takes the energy of the sun. So there's different properties of pH and, mm -hmm. you know, and aspects of mineralization and that clusterization. There's a whole conversation of water, which to me makes a big difference. You know? I, I use a certain kind of water in my in my practice for myself that I really feel uh, makes a huge change for people. It's called Pimag water. It's in, you know, but do your research and check it out and you mm -hmm. know, uh, be educated. But water is a huge component. And not just water that you're drinking, but when you think certain thoughts and you feel certain emotions, the water of your body is affected in mm -hmm. its structure. That's the essence of Dr. Masuri Moto's work, that when we're under a certain emotional state of being, that water um, will either crystallize or it won't form a crystal. Crystals conduct electricity. Without a crystal, there's no electricity. You know, I want to send you. I want to send you a text. The reason I can send you a text or give you a call is because you've got crystals in your cell phone. Mm -hmm. We've got crystals in our body too, and so our emotional state of being affects the crystalline state of the water, and that water conducts electricity, and our brain communicates with electrical impulses. So. You know, there's a whole other level of then the emotional tie-in sure. with the quality of water and dot, dot, dot.